Hey everyone, this is a really off the cuff video, but I thought this was something that was worth talking about. Uh, I recently did a presentation for the AA National Conference. It was a PowerPoint presentation. And while I was putting it together, I got a bunch of images from different websites. This is a Lucas 3 device, for example. And here's Lucas's website, the reference that I got it from. But anyways, when I um, was putting these images into my PowerPoint, I realized a common thing I've seen over the years is this exact situation. And it has nothing to do with the content. It's just about design. So you have a picture that clearly does not belong with this slide. There's a lot of dead white space in the background. The size of the image is pretty small relative to what it, the rest of the slide looks like. So how can we best optimize this? And that's what I'm going to talk about in this little video. I use uh, Mac OS and the software that I'm using is PowerPoint right here. Pixelmator Pro and the native Mac OS preview app. So the first thing you have to do is get a high resolution file. And that's what this is. I called it old. Opened it here in preview. And the first thing I'm just going to drag and crop it down to just what I need. Just the meat of the image. I don't care about all that white space. Right here. That's pretty good. I'm going to hit Command K, crop it, and save it. Okay. Now I'll go to Pixelmator and open it up. This is where the magic happens. So I'm going to use the Smart Erase tool right here and click and drag in one of the white spaces to increase my tolerance. As you, as you can see, as I increase my tolerance, it's able to get rid of more and more. If I go too crazy, it's going to start to actually eat away at the image, so I'm going to scale back. That's pretty good right there. I'm going to go to this big area, do the same thing. It's a little too much. There we go. I'm just covering all the little areas I can find. That's pretty good. Now I'm going to export it as a PNG, a portable network graphic. I'll call it new. Okay, then I can hide this. Resize it. Make it nice and big. There you go. So before, after. Yeah, it took 60 seconds or so, but when you're making a presentation, I think these little steps do make a difference. This image looks a lot more homogenous. It looks like it belongs on the slide. It's larger. It's easier to actually appreciate it because it's a high quality image. I think it's little things like this that make a difference in presentations. Oh yeah, and don't, don't put too much text on your slides, guys. <laughs> Uh, if you all have any questions or recommendations, leave me a comment on this video. And I'd love to hear if you all have similar workflows that you do to um, make slides look nice. So yes, content is the most important, but design also matters. So thanks for watching this video, guys. Have a good one.